Hey, can we talk about the elephant in the room since Lil Durk is the hottest topic right now? When King Vaughn got killed, you didn't see too much of the things that Range Rover said. He didn't blame OTF. He didn't talk about back doors or nothing like that because Range Rover energy was high in the air. Shout out to Range Rover. His energy was in the air. So you just lost your nephew and his dad is your brother and your brother already died too. You know, so it's like, you're going to take that personal. So his anger right there was more focused on doing get back for King Vaughn. But I kept asking, how does he feel about dirt? I'm one of these only dudes in these sectors that always ask the real questions. And I just kept looking like, ain't no way he could be cool with Dirk or any other guys in OTF. Fast forward, when OTF D thing got killed. Y'all got to wake up, bro. I started asking, damn, do you hear what he's saying? He's like, man, D thing don't do nothing to get in trouble. D thing do these parties all the time without no, no repercussions, nobody doing drama. And then he goes on Lil Dirt. He goes relentlessly on Lil Dirt. He goes deep on it to the point that nigga is you. You keep dissing the ops and niggas already told you. And you got to ask yourself, if they so cool and close, why would he even bring that to the light? I know I'm tweaking, right? And then I started looking at it, bro. Shit started going more deeper with this man on it, bro. He started going to more deeper truths about... Y'all ain't looked out for Vaughn like that. And, and Range Rover, if I'm messing up a little bit, clarify me on some of the things, my nigga. And I know he was like, oh, niggas ain't doing this for Vaughn or ain't did that. So it's extra things, bro. And I can make a whole three, 40 videos off them little words alone he threw, bro. When he threw that out there, bro, I already knew what time it was, bro. Certain things ain't being done. And, and niggas used to say that every day, bro. King Vaughn gave OTF life again. Remember before King Von got out of prison, OTF was subpar. Cause that boy FBG Duck done put the pressure on them boys, bro. I ain't picking no sides, I'm being honest. The pressure dismantled OTF to a certain point. Yeah, Dirk was connected, Dirk was commercial. He was one of the biggest things in Chicago. He always was. But the wave of what the people was rocking with was ducking them. So now they need something to submit them to make them more thorough, to make them more. Because niggas like Boss topping them. I'm not trying to be funny, but Keep already put it out. Niggas still in deodorants and draws. People was damn near looking at them as a laughing stock. Now, Vaughn come out. People who've been following the sector like me, you know, Vaughn Ben had a name even while he was locked up. So we knew when Vaughn got home, grandson came free. We knew it was good, bro. From the murder rates to the music, things was about to be a little bit high right now. So when Vaughn came out here two years, three years later, OTF is the hottest thing out right now. They got Dirk, yo. They got Vaughn. King Vaughn made Dirk name relevant again. And I feel like Range Rover's throwing the energy out there that he don't get along with Dirk a lot. He don't like Dirk's vibe. Range Rover looked like one of them real niggas because he gave love to all the sides. I don't see Dirk doing that shit. And you, you think Range Rover, King Von, Uncle ain't lost members and guys behind this or that. And he still gave love and threw it out there. That's how you know who's a more real, realness out there compared to Dirk and King Von's uncle. Now, King Von's uncle says a little bit more subliminal things. And you can hear the anger. Like, I don't need y'all to break down. Ish for me, bro. There's some hostilities there, bro. Maybe the right amount of money ain't being given to the family. You don't know. Shit, I don't know. Maybe the right situation between them never was cool because Range Rover knew if Vaughn get around dirt, he's going to be the sacrificial lamb. Maybe, you know, Vaughn Uncle knew the whole time. You're around a nigga like dirt who get the tweaking, this and everybody because somebody like dirt looked like somebody who got too much power. Dirt looked like somebody because he got money, he going to be doing all type of decisions allegedly. And, and even if he don't do no decisions, you know what I mean? Even if he don't do none, them decisions can't do anything to save the situation. To save the situation. You can't move it out like that, gang. The goal, get along, is what you seen here, bro. I fell back and I seen the movement and now I'm seeing Durkio, King Vaughn, Uncle. The back and forth, but there was no back and forth, though. That's how I knew. There was no back and forth, bruh. No back and forth at all to the situations, man. My nigga, 
Dirk Uncle has showed you guys what it is here, bro. I'm going to fall back and look at the situation for what it is. It's a setup. It's the goal, get along game. That's all we're going to ever see here, bro. The goal, get along game is the axes you got. Y'all rest in peace, man. Rest in peace to the deceased.